many times in, in cancers, cells and other kinds of material, including DNA, are shed from the tumors even at a fairly early stage. By the time that the patient is aware of symptoms, it often means that the cancer has advanced pretty far. So that was really the motivation for this company was that we would like to build a diagnostic that could very sensitively analyze blood to detect if cancer is present and even more diagnose which cancer it is and how advanced it is. One of the ways that I would say it's been difficult is just that as a scientist you're not trained to think about what's important from the commercialization standpoint. So QB3 has been incredibly important to the startup of the company. They set the company up with a lawyer, got the company incorporated, connected us with a bank, put us together with grant writers who have helped us apply for SBIRs. Really I would say all the credit aside from coming up with the idea goes to QB3 and startup in a box. The challenge when you want to detect cancer from a blood draw is that these cancer cells um, are just, you know, they're a needle in a haystack. We can take a blood sample, we can partition it into billions of separate tiny samples, and then we can perform an assay on each of those samples. If you could detect this material very sensitively, you might be able to um, do routine blood testing for cancer. That has been one of the most positive sides of, of this whole commercialization enterprise, is just realizing that you, know, you build a technology that becomes a better cancer diagnostic, that could translate directly into saving people's lives or improving their quality of life.